Hi guys, welcome to my Skyway channel. This is Robin and Daryl. And we're getting ready to do jewelry jars and number 196. If you see anything in this um, video you'd like to have, please leave a comment under the comment section of the timestamp that you see the item, the description and the price. And um, if you're not registered with me, please email me at myskywitch2 at gmail.com. Um, if you're not registered, I will not take the comments. I need your PayPal email if you have one. If you don't, that's not an issue. Um, your shipping address, your YouTube name, your full name first and last so I can connect you to your YouTube name and for shipping purposes. We ship only in the U.S. Shipping rate is a flat rate of $5. That's a bargain. Um... We invoice at the first of the month or $100 in sales, whichever occurs first. So that means orders in July will be invoiced on 1 August. You won't hear from me unless you exceed $100 in your sale or it's the first of the month. The exception to that is if you email me at myskywatch2 at gmail.com and tell me you want your items immediately, then I will send you an invoice with a shipping charge of $5.00. And as soon as you pay it, we will mail it out. So, that's how that goes. You have all month to order and get as much as you can for your $5 shipping charge. And here you go, honey. Thank you very much. All right. And our first items are, <sighs> on Little Sky, we have this... Um, multi-metal bead in colors and then this black and white necklace with the bracelet matching bracelet and this has got a lobster claw clasp and extender with the bead it is in gunmetal um, this person whoever owned this wore so much perfume I cannot get the perfume smell out of it and some of the beads have been damaged from that. And you should um, not put your jewelry on until you've already put your perfumes and stuff on. It just damages your jewelry. So we're going to put this in the Hobby Lot. Just be aware it does have a perfume smell to it. And then the next one is this one. These are acrylic beads. The little charm, dangle charm, stretch bracelet, and then you have a matching necklace with a lobster claw classic extender, rectangular rollo chain, and again the same beads and charms. We'll do this set for five dollars. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. The next two we have is this light pinkish lavender neck, and then this has that, it's like a midnight sparkle on there, and it's mesh chain that's blue in color. This, this buttons, you have three places you can button it, pretty little shell pendant, nice glass beads. Multi-stranded. We'll do this one for two dollars. And then this is gorgeous. We've got a lobster claw class, silver tone end caps. And there you got it. Now I think those are inside. I can't tell. I can't tell if that's crystals inside or not yes it is it's got to be let me loop it oh definitely and they're blue blue and they sparkle right through this um, mesh chain that's twisted in a rope design beautiful the necklace length on this is 22 inches and we'll do that one for 
five dollars. Very cool. Oh, that's all one necklace, huh? Mm hmm. Oh. Yippy skippy. Variation of color. All one. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Here's our next two necklaces. This looks like hematite on a gold tone mm -hmm. chain. And then this is one stranded necklace in two tones and sizes. You've got two colors of the green, bluish green, knotted in between beads. And then you got different size beads, but that's all one necklace. Isn't that cool? Very long. Let's see, this one, maybe gold filled, I don't know. It looks at Twelve carat gold fill. Says it this way. I had it upside down. But I could read it better that way. Twelve carat gold fill. There's your hematite bead on there. Very pretty. It is eighteen inches in length. I'm going to do that for 18. Here's that long necklace I was telling you about. I mean, it just goes on and on. Let me give you some measurement. That's 48 and 48. 96. And then another 2 inches. 98 inches. 98 inches. We'll do that for 20. Oh, that's pretty. Colorful. Mm hmm Okay, here's our next two necklaces. We have a pearl necklace, and we have this beautiful, colorful shell necklace, and those feel cold. Glass beads. Lobster claw clasp, extender with the bead. Need some cleaning. I will clean that before I send it out. It is the shortest point, it's 19 inches. Fully extended, and we'll do this one for $3. glass. They sparkle like glass, but they are acrylic. Let's see about these other ones. Glass. Glass. No, that's saying glass. Okay, they're glass. They are glass. Glass, metal, glass, and um, mother of pearl, dyed mother of pearl beads, disc. Beautiful. This necklace is 
43 inches long. We'll do that one for eight. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. Let's see here. It's okay, honey. I know. Oh, I feel your pain. There you go. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Next, we have this Art Deco type necklace in black and gold tone, black enamel gold tone. And look at this beautiful green beaded necklace and a matching bracelet. This one's New York. It's got an extender, lobster claw clasp. It's in excellent condition. No missing stones on this. These are little fasted beads here. Here's the back. It looks brand new. The length on this is... Nineteen inches fully extended. We'll do this one for five. Very pretty. Beautiful. And we have this. Very unusual beads here. And these are acrylic of some type. Here's your necklace. It is on string. We'll do the set for five dollars. Here's our next two necklaces. We have this pretty blue and metal beaded necklace. And then this big silver ball on a chain. A knockout necklace. A weapon necklace. Just teasing. Here's your lobster claw clasp, your extender with the bead. Some wear on the chain here. Kind of darkened. Some of these have darkened too, like a copperish color. Then you have this beautiful cobalt blue color beads. We'll do this one for $2. Then we have this nice rope chain with the lobster claw clasp. It's in very good condition. And then you have this silver ball. And the ball is not magnetic, but the chain is. I don't know, let me see. I can't get it to rub. Copper based, I think. Anyway, we'll do oh, this necklace. Let's see how long it is. It is 32 inches. We'll do it for four dollars. Nice chain on that. Next, we have a beautiful glass pendant and some mustard color, an orange, and gold flecks. And then we have the little kitty necklace on a beaded chain. Here's your glass pendant. I don't know how that thing gets so turned around. Glass pendant. There's the back. Beautiful cord. It's got the olive green and the um, pumpkin colors. We'll do that for three. Very pretty. And then we have this. Oh. That one's put on backwards. Here we go. Yeah, this one's put on backwards. But you have the little pink and the green peridot and the citrine. The, the peridot is 
August. The citrine is November. The pink is June. And the clear, which would stand probably for diamond, is uh, April. Burst stones. And glass. I'm just trying, I'm testing them to see if they're gems. No, they're glass. And they're not magnetic. The people are not magnetic. We'll see if they're silver. Ooh, looks like they are. Using the silver tester, we're looking for the color red. A lot of times it's hard to see. Looks red to me, and I'm going to try to lift it. And it will look like a blood stain on this. And yes, it does. See the red there? Yep. So these little people are sterling. I don't believe the chain is. No, it's not. We're going to keep the little people on the chain. We have two boys and two girls. And we're going to do it for 30. This one's just put on backwards. You can undo the chain and put it the right way. But that's what it looks like. Here's the others. Okay. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. What, honey? That can come out of the chain. What? Oh. Okay, here we go. Little shell necklace. And then this little charm necklace with a crystal and a key and an anchor. It's on a brass colored chain. This one has a barrel clasp. Nice little design, open ring. Nice shell. We'll do that one for two. This one. There's a beautiful crystal here. Here's your anchor and your key. Here's your chain. It's got a toggle clasp. The necklace is 20 inches. It is crystal, but it's not quartz. We'll do this necklace for five. Very cool. I think that's John 2.16. Okay. Yeah, I think that I, found, I finally figured out what that was. Okay, there's your necklace, beautiful pearl and bead, and then this says 216, and I'm saying that's John 216 of the Bible verse. It's got a heart on the back, and that heart stays to the back of the pendant next to you. It's um, ribbon. Ribbon's in very good condition. These are kind of feel cold, so let me see if they're glass. Well, it moves to glass. 
and then you have the dark uh, pearls. We'll do this for three. And then here's the 216. There's the back. This is brassy looking. Here's your necklace. Your lobster claw class. This necklace is twenty five inches. And we'll do this one for three dollars. Oh, thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Have this beautiful necklace here. And then this pretty slab of stone and little charm beads at the top. This has got a lobster claw class extended with some little beads. These are glass. Beautiful glass beads. Now these are maybe bone but the shiny ones are glass very pretty necklace it is about 22 inches beautiful very nice we'll do this one for eight And then we have this slab of stone here. You can see through it. Isn't that beautiful? Little stone here. I don't know what kind of stone that is, but it's turquoise in color. And then these little colorful glass beads here. Let's see what this reads as. It's definitely glass. That. And this is a stone. Gosh, that's so pretty. Look at that. On this chain, beaded chain, it's got the kidney clasp. That beaded chain is not magnetic. I'm going to test it for silver. Because I believe it is. I'm doing a good rub here. No, it's brass. I can see the the uh, brass color underneath. See that golden color? Let's make sure it's not gold. So we'll test it for 10 carat. Ten carat. I don't want to assume anything. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there it goes. Boy, I thought we were going to have gold there for a minute. Took it a while to to evaporate. Okay, so it's brass. That's why it's not magnetic. We'll do this for eight. It's gorgeous. Here's our next two necklaces. We have this red shell and it looks like glass beads, triple stranded. And this beautiful, I believe these are labradorite on a gold chain with some gold bars, bars, gold tone. This is our first one. We have a lobster claw and extender with the bead. These are glass and shell chunks. I think it's shell. Yeah, it's shell. Very pretty red. 
The length on this is 20 inches, fully extended. We'll do that one for $3. Very pretty. And then this one. You have a lobster claw class extender with a bead. You see that's in excellent condition. It's like a matted gold tone. Beautiful chain in excellent condition. These gold bars are in excellent condition. And then these. I saw blue flickering in here. So let's see if I can bring it up for you. This is this one. Let's see if we can get something out of here. First, we got to get it to focus. Focus. It's not going to do anything. Yeah, there it goes. Let's do it at a distance. There you go. Now you can see it. See that one too? And then I did see it in these bar-like ones too. But it's not going to show for me now. Where's the other bar one? Anyway, it does have a labradorite in it. Very cool. It's long. It is fully extended. It is 35 inches. And we'll do this one for 10. Very pretty. And that's all we're going to do for tonight, guys. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I forgot to tell you all to get you something refreshing to drink. I have stopped eating after 5.30 at night. So I can still have water, but I'm doing that fasting where you eat eight hours during the day. So I eat from 9.30 to 5.30. And then I don't eat anymore. And I'm going to see if that helps me to lose weight. The doctor had recommended that I try it. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, I can't have black coffee too. But I like cream in my coffee. So I'll just wait in the morning for that. And tea, I guess we'd be okay. Since it doesn't have green teas and stuff that, don't, that you don't sweeten. But anyway, that's what I've been up to. What have you guys have been up to? I hope you're having a good day. It did thunder and storm tonight. But the pool during the day, it was sunshiny and the water was nice and warm. and 87 degrees. Yeah, we got in and enjoyed it. And our little blackbird, Edgar Allan Crow, came to visit. Or either Cheryl Crow. We can't decide if it's a male or female. So we fed, we fed the crow and uh, that's about it. That's all we've done today. So I hope you all have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>